Hello everybody and welcome to an ASD Nation tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be learning about an advanced wire mod turret. As you can see, it's a 3D turret, goes in whatever direction. Very deadly. I put G Combat on it just for the fun of it. So we're going to try and learn something like this today. Um, basically, uh, I'm using Xfire for my recording software today. Uh, it's not laggy at all. Um, and it helps out a bit in the end. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm using a small res for this, so I'm sorry, but it makes it a lot less laggier, so. Okay. So we're going to spawn out of the useful construction, no, uh, PHX useful construction props, that's it. And then under the same thing, uh, that's a one by one plate. Out of the same thing, we're going to spawn a rod and last time I checked it was near the bottom uh, at least I think it was in this one uh, okay maybe it's in general construction props yeah general construction props Let's see should be up here somewhere You can use that, but I'm going to go with the little bit bigger size than that. Perfect. It's a two times bar under the general construction props or specialized construction props. Oop, come up here. Okay, so we're going to go to constraints. We're going to ball and socket easy the center of this using smart snap to the top of this just for added up and down movement there okay so we're gonna go ahead and start putting some wire stuff on here um, if you've ever made a um, like a wired missile it's gonna be using the same um, same stuff with it my bad um, such as the tracking and everything else so let's go ahead and you know put on a beacon sensor Ooh, that bothers me. Hold on. I like to have it so it's straight, and that's not straight. So I'm going to lift this up in the air real quick. Oh, and I just lost it. Okay. So we're, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and spawn your beacon sensor. Make sure it has the uh, world GPS coordinates checked, because you will be needing that. Okay, so now what you're going to need is you're going to need a target finder. Uh, the beacon sensor and a few other things are the only things that you're going to want on the on the rod here. Otherwise, you're just going to throw off its balance. So let's go ahead and set that up there. Okay, uh, I've got target players, do not target owner, and target NPCs checked. My maximum range is 99,999. Uh, okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... Go on to the next thing here. We're going to spawn three subtract chips out of the controlled arithmetic gates. I like playing with these because they seem to be sort of cool looking like a normal uh, computer chip. I kind of like that. Alright, uh, okay. So we're going to come over here. You want three of those? It's going to be your X, Y, and Z. Those are going to be your GPS coordinates here in just a minute. Okay, now what you're going to want to need out of wire detection, you're going to want a GPS. You're going to put this on the back. It has to be on the back. It cannot be anywhere else. It has to be on the back. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to put on a vector thruster. Um, the vector thruster's force multiplier needs to be extremely high along with the maximum. Leave the minimum at zero. Has to be at zero. Kind of. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it's better if it is. Make sure you have this box here, XYZ World. Uh, if you don't have this at XYZ World, it's not even going to run right. It'll just go in the opposite direction of you. So we're going to spawn this on the front. Make sure you double click. Sorry if I'm moving a little bit fast. I've only got like 11 more minutes to make this tutorial before I have to do part one and part two. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do 
is we need um, I think that's it looks like it's it alright so we're gonna go ahead and wire this up hopefully that's it and uh, oh wait I just remembered you need a numpad input toggled from uh, numpad input and output or I slash O as you see it and we're gonna go ahead and wire this up I like using the wired advance tool makes things a little bit more easier that way you can uh, I don't know if you guys knew this but you can scroll up and down with your uh, with your with your mouse scroll and you can go through the inputs and outputs that way so we're gonna go ahead and wire the beacon sensor target to the target finder output one Oop. wait a minute okay there we go okay and then you're gonna wanna wire the vector thruster multiply or mul mole to the numpad input okay and then uh, you're gonna wanna wire the vector thrusters X to one of su one of the subtract chips, Y to another subtract chip, and Z to another subtract chip. That way, we know what is what. Because now, when you select that output, it's going to highlight what wire it goes to and what subtract it goes to. And each one of these stands for your X, Y, and Z coordinates, telling the vector thruster what direction to go in. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to move on to the more difficult part of this. I really don't think so, but for some people it is. Okay, you're going to wire the X subtract, or your first subtract, to your GPS output X. You're going to wire the B of the same subtract to the beacon sensor output world X. Okay, it has to be World X because if it's not World X, it's gonna get the GPS coordinates of where your local area is at, um, instead of being the whole entire map. Because you want it to look over the whole map and say, okay, this is where that person is exactly in this position on the map. Okay, so A of your next chip, which will be your Y chip, subtract chip, you're gonna wire it to your GPS Y, and you're gonna wire B to the beacon sensor output World Y. And you may be seeing a pattern here. Uh, the next one you're going to do the same with the A, you're going to go to Z, and your B goes to your beacon sensor output world Z. And then on your vector thruster, you've already got all that wired together. Okay. Alright, so now, what you want to do you're going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to turn on okay so and then when you spawn an NPC it'll go straight to him now what we're missing is a turret you have to have some sort of turret for it to shoot um, any type of NPC and I'm going to go ahead and no collide this that way it can go in whatever the heck direction it wants to go no collide with everything and then it can move around as it wishes here Okay, so if we go ahead and get rid of that NPC, hit enter so it turns off. I'm going to lift this back up. Okay, so now what we're going to do, if you have G Combat, you can do this. Um, I'm going to do it with G Combat because it's a lot funner to do, in my opinion. I'm going to put on the Vulcan laser. Never used it before. And as you can see, it's too heavy. So, And with the turret, you're going to have to do the same thing. Otherwise, it won't go in the direction you want it to go. It's just going to kind of flop over. I'm going to make it point zero zero one is the weight. And now as you see, it goes up where it's supposed to be. And just as you would a turret, you're going to wire this up. And you're going to wire fire to the target finder output one. We're going to go ahead and unfreeze that. And as soon as it sees something, it's going to start shooting. So we're going to turn on the thruster, and there it goes. And it'll start shooting at the target. He's got a lot of health, so that didn't kill him. Um, now, the problem, or something else you can do, is instead of doing it with that, I'm going to show you something a little bit more advanced, I guess you could say. You can go into your expression too. Go to new expression. 
and we're gonna say the inputs are gonna be ranger and the output is gonna be fire for your G combat. We're gonna make an interval of ten and we're gonna say if ranger is equal to one, which means if the ranger has found a target, then fire is equal to one or equals one. You know what? I'm not even gonna go there. Uh, we can do it a little bit simpler. Um, we're gonna why we're gonna go ahead and go to arithmetic again, and we're just gonna spawn a sign chip. We're just gonna make this a little bit simpler for you guys. Uh, spawn a sign chip. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and spawn the G combat again. I'm gonna use a plasma laser because it seems to be a little bit more accurate that way. Uh, plasma cannon. Okay, for some reason it's being weird. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Got to change the weight again. Okay, now, now what we need to do, is we're going to go ahead and wire this all together. So we're going to wire fire to the sign chip and the sign chip A to the beacon sensor output bearing. If you didn't have bearing on your beacon sensor, you should probably put that on now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, spawn that NPC again. As you see, it's not going to shoot at the ground randomly until there you go. And that's how you kill him. So you spawn another one and straight to him, takes him down. All right, and that's that. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, hope to see you guys again. Um, visit our server. Uh, my name's Wolf, and I will see you guys soon. Uh, any information you need will be in the description.